Hello guys, this is Miguel and here, welcome to Information Security Newspaper Channel. So today we are talking about Adobe, except specifically the Creative Cloud, it seems they just suffered a massive data breach. And also, for all those uh, web developers, there is a huge vulnerability in PHP 7. So guys, I need you to please help me sharing this video. Well, let's get started. Of course, every day we're updating a lot of content in there and Please help me sharing the video, guys. Well, the most popular creative software developer, Adobe, was hacked. In recent days, it was discovered that the company suffered a massive data breach. The leak compromised the data of almost 7.5 million users of the Adobe Creative Cloud. Luckily, the company mentioned no private information was leaked. As you may remember, this is not the first time that the design developer was hacked. In 2013, the company suffered a data breach involving 38 million users. Adobe just emphasized that no password or financial information was lost. They said that among the leaked information there were member identifications, email IDs, countries, subscription status, and if the user was an Adobe employee. So this type of exposed information is a gift to the scammers because it provides them with accurate information, allowing them to send private specific emails known as spear phishing. Well, the spear phishing technique involves criminals pretending to be a particular service provider. The aim is to trick users into believing fake company emails are legitimate in an effort to get additional information or compromise their accounts. As a general rule, Adobe customers should take precautions over suspicious emails. Users should never click on any account related links they received via email, no matter how official they may appear. We also recommend users to change their passwords frequently and use a password wallet to store strong automatically generated passwords. Anyway, if you would like to achieve better security in your account, Adobe also offers the ability to secure the accounts using two-factor authentication. And well, this is a security feature that all users should enable to help ward off attacks. Now guys, let's talk about a different matter. Specifically, let's talk about the PHP 7 programming language. For those who don't know, the PHP language runs a great part of the internet, so there are multiple environments at risk. So, a couple days ago, Emil Nix, learner a Russia-based security researcher, disclosed a remote code execution vulnerability in PHP 7, the latest interaction of the hugely popular web development language. So, with this vulnerability, which has the CVE ID of 2019-11043, an attacker could force a remote web server to execute their own arbitrary code simply by accessing a crafted URL. So, in order the attacker makes the intrusion, they only need to add question mark a equal to sign to the website address followed by their payload. And as I mentioned, this vulnerability is so critical to the point where even a non-technical user could abuse it. But well, fortunately, the vulnerability only impacts servers using Nginx web server. Actually, the program just released a security advisory to clients urging them to update, warning them of the issue and imploring them to update their PHP to the latest version. On the other hand, site owners who are unable to update their PHP install can mitigate the problem by setting a rule within the standard PHP mode security firewall. So there you go guys, you should better update your PHP 7 right now Unfortunately, experts believe things are going to get worse before they get better. Buddies, thank you so much for watching the video. This was Miguel in here. I really wish you have an excellent day. And guys, if you want to get more information, more content of cybersecurity, you can actually go to our social media. We got the links down below. Of course, every day we're updating a lot of content in there. And please help me sharing the video, guys. 